What's up? This is my everyday carry for being a technician. And a big shout out to every fucking troll, probably the same guy. You're a fucking bitch. Fuck you. Getting on to it though. This is what I carry on the reg. Anyway, so this is a blue point. This is off the Snap-on truck. I prefer Snap-on, as many of you know. I uh, really love Snap-on, and that's where I want my money going most for the for the most part. It's actually made in the USA, uh, and plus, I love the company of Snap-on. One of the reasons why I love Snap-on is because they warranty these two things. Matt Crapco, Matco does not warranty these two things. I asked my Snap-on dealer, he's like, hey man, this broke on me, how much is it? He's like, did you buy it from Snap-on? I was like, yeah, but I went to a different shop. I was like, I have the receipt. He's like, nah, don't even worry about it, I got you. So he gave me a new one of uh, Tread Death. So whatever I paid for this, I already paid for itself. And then uh, Blue Point, the reason why I like this one is because of the back. Some of them have like, the cheap ones have like a little nut right here, it falls off and then you gotta fuck with it. But, uh, yeah, I've had this for years now, and I mean, this thing is uh, this thing is almost broken to me. This is like time to trade it in, you know. Like I keep my shit very nice. I'm that guy. Like my tools that I've been using for a long time still look new. Um, this is an SK pocket screwdriver. I find this extremely useful. One, it's like a pry bar. If you ever have to do like a, a tire repair, you can. I've uh, people were like, I don't know, man, if that's gonna do it, and they pried with it, and they actually got this fat ass nail out of there. Other than that, it is a very good pry bar, and also for the airbag recalls, put this in the slat, push it through, just right about there, and then you can just press, and it peels it apart perfectly. That is another one that I like it, but also. You have a secondary in case you don't want to get up, which this pocket screwdriver has saved me a lot of time from the simple point that one, if I have to do like a tire repair, I can use this as a legit pry bar. Or if I have to use this as a pry bar, I can do that. And also for other things like uh, whatever, I don't know, like if you have to take a hard screw off, <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, as you can see, I bent it a little bit. I've applied all of my strength. I've actually applied all of my strength to this as like a Phillips. I know it's not supposed to be used as a Phillips, but I have. And I twist as hard as I could. This thing holds up. Um, I will tell you right now to be careful because this SK pocket screwdriver will scratch the dash. And if it's on a German car, it will cost you more than you realize. So this is both Snap-on off the truck, Blue Point, Blue Point, both warrantied. Um, this right now, I had to, I have to use this. I have a lot of Knit Pack stuff, as you can see in my other videos. Uh, I don't like Knit Packs. I actually started off with buying all Knit Packs, and then I discovered Channel uh, Channel Locks, which I've I've had before, but I switched out from Knit Packs to Channel Locks. 
Um, I actually apply, I actually use these today, and I was impressed with them. I never said that they're shit tools. I just said I like channel locks better, and that's my personal opinion. And speaking of channel locks, I have a very, very, very big thing coming with channel locks. It's gonna be a big move for my channel. And this, this is something I bought off Amazon. This was 20 bucks because I'm not trying to, okay. So this is really bright. This is perfect. I can put it to a, uh, like the brake or the power steering or, and it, it's very bright. This $20 little light, it works very well. It's very bright. Uh, I don't want to lose a $160 light to me. I don't care. So it came with this little thing, whatever the fuck this thing is. Uh, I don't know what the fuck the thing is, but it's on there and what it does is it actually helps it stay in my pocket So whatever the fuck this thing is it actually works 20 bucks. I've dropped it a lot too um, I have no care for this thing I've actually had one break and I called the seller and just sent me a new one 20 bucks off Amazon. It's very bright. I think it's like 500 lumens uh, It's perfect. It does exactly what I need it to you lose $150 light. You, you don't care anymore Stream light's cool until you lose one. But yeah, this is what I carry. Like I said, this right here will save me a lot of time and a lot of stress. This right here, I cannot tell you how many times I've had to use it. Like just to have like this amazing fucking pry bar is what I like to consider it. But the most thing that I've actually loved is when you can just flip this over. And you're like, oh fuck, thank God I don't have to get up. You can apply a lot of torque to it, but I will say two things. Like I said, this will scratch a dash. If you fucking pry it, it's <clears throat> right on a German car, you're like, fuck. And then two, if this is in your pocket and you lift up a tire for like the tire machine or you're putting it back on the studs or whatever, you hit that, oh dude, that's a bad day. <laughs> it's a bad day. It will cut you. Like that is sharp. Um, it's not super sharp. It doesn't really have an edge. But I use this actually also to cut open filter bags and like any kind of bag. I use this all, all day, literally all day. Cutting open stuff, like ripping the bags, prying out nails. Uh, I use that every single day. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm sorry, but these are nice. These are really nice to have. The reason why I went to these is because I lost my other ones. That's why I started putting these in my pocket, the mini pliers. Um, yeah, <clears throat> this is what I got. This is what I use. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't do whatever the fuck you want to do because this is America. Bye, Maine, USA. Stay free.